when you sign up and want to get certified and, and enter a career path in medical coding, a decision has to be made right up front. Do I want to go in and work in a, um, a, a physician or clinic uh, facility? Do I want to work in an ambulatory surgical center? Or would I rather work for and code services over in a hospital? Uh, let me explain a little bit about the difference in these options that you have. Now, there are two distinctions with CareerWise. We have both a hospital-based certification program and we have a physician-based, uh, clinic-based uh, certification program. You're going to have to make a decision which one to do. If you do our hospital-based program, you're going to get everything you'll be qualified to pretty much go left or go right. Uh, the reason for that is that in our hospital-based program, you're trained in all of the rules and all the fundamentals about medical coding, but you not only learn all the rules and practice hundreds of uh, inpatient cases so that you could code in a hospital setting where you're coding uh, inpatient cases, that's where someone's been admitted to the hospital over 24 hours, you might be coding uh, emergency department visits, you might be coding uh, same-day surgeries, or you might be coding observations, or other ancillary services that have to be coded within a hospital environment. That if you, if you get certified in our hospital-based program, it'll cover you for everything that would qualify you to work in a hospital environment. But it also teaches you all the fundamentals of CPT uh, coding. That allow, that's needed to work in a, in a physician environment. CPT means current procedural terminology. This is a grouping of codes that identifies what procedure the physician or uh, medical practitioner actually performed for you. It might be as simple as what we call an evaluation and management visit. Many of us have had like an office visit where we see our doctor and he doesn't really do anything for us. He maybe gives us a prescription for this or that. Uh, that is true in, in the coding world, it's known as an evaluation and management case. And believe it or not, you have to just, coding those is actually kind of complicated. You have to determine was your services that your physician rendered, was it really complex and difficult? And do you have a lot of uh, maybe difficult health circumstances or was it very simplistic? Uh, it could be coded as a level one on up to a level five or even a critical care case. Um, and learning how to do that is one of the things that you learn as a certified coder. Now, uh, in the hospital side, uh, most hospitals break their coding responsibilities out by the type of service that they're rendering. You might be initially, you might be coding just all the emergency visits that come into the hospital, uh, in which case, those also have evaluation and management uh, codes that have to be assigned, along with all the other uh, procedures or treatments that the patient received while they're uh, being treated in the, in the emergency department.